Hi everyone, it's mid-February and the sky tonight is absolutely crystal clear so I thought I'd get the telescope out and photograph some galaxies. I'm not quite sure what galaxies at the moment but this video will follow the processes I go through in capturing the galaxies and then hopefully all being well I will have something to share with you at the end of this video. My name is Ricky and you're watching Astro Ricker. Right, so this is a setup that I'm going to be using tonight. We have the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount, and then sitting on top we have the AT EDR telescope, and then on top of that the 50mm guide scope. The imaging camera is the 269C, um, it's a one shot colour camera, and then we have the filter drawer sitting in front with the L Pro filter. And then we have the Pegasus power box. So this will power my camera and my mount. Um, and I will plug my laptop into this for the data connections to the guide camera, the camera, and also be able to control the mount. It's still looking nice and clear. So I'm hoping tonight it's going to stay that way. And we'll be able to get some imaging in and hunt down some galaxies. <laughs> Right, so the telescope's all set up outside, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is open PH2 guide-in software. Um, I'm going to go in and connect my guide camera, and then I'm going to connect my mount. There's not a lot else I need to do in this program at the moment, so I'll just minimise it for now, and I will go into Nina. Okay, so I'm in Nina, and I've already got my camera connected, and it's already called down to minus 10. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on telescope and then I will connect my mount so that this is also controlled by Nina. I'm not sure what this error message is but I will look into it at some point. So I'm going to unpark the mount and then I'm going to go into the guiding and I'm going to connect PHD to guiding so that this is also connected to Nina. Right, so I'm now going to go into Sky Atlas and search for my target, which I'm going to go for M81, which is the Bode's Galaxy, and I'm going to set this for Framing Assistant. So I'm now going to slew and centre my telescope to this target. So it will take a minute, but I will just skip forward on this video until that is complete. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the rotation from my camera. So it's going to take a short exposure just so it can figure out how my camera's rotated. Um, just to make sure it all fits in okay. So as you can see here it fits in quite nicely. All three um, galaxies sit nicely within the frame so I'm happy with that. So I'm now going to go into PHD to guide in. And I'm going to select a guide star and then I'm going to kick this off so it is then guiding. I'm then going to go back into Nina so I can do a test exposure. So I'm going to go into imaging and I'm going to set my exposure time to 180 seconds. Once this is completed it will show me an image on how it's looking and then we can go from there and if we're happy we can set off the sequencer. Right, okay, so the image is just about to pop up, and yeah, I'm happy with that. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to kick off my image sequencing, and I'm going to do maybe, I reckon, 300 second exposures. So, yeah, let's kick it off and see what happens. <laughs> 